In an editorial in the Australian newspaper this week, Janet Albrechtson says Wilkinson must hand back her Logie Award she won for her reporting on this story. As if anyone cares about Logies anymore. Albrechtson says it wasn't just the shameless wargaming that went on at the meeting that's so bad, but what is equally troubling is how Wilkinson assumes the role of Me Too Maestro. The 10 Network celebrity can be heard helping Higgins frame her story, suggesting angles and words, and making nasty and uncorroborated judgments about Higgins' former boss, former Defence Minister, Linda Reynolds. For example, Wilkinson prattles on about a Twitter spat she had with Reynolds. She searches for the exchange on her phone, reads it out, commends herself for recalling it. When Wilkinson described Reynolds as an idiot, the venom was palpable. Albrechtson notes that Wilkinson says she doesn't want to put words in Higgins' mouth before suggesting what she could say. Speak about the culture, Wilkinson coaches Higgins. Enunciate the fact that this place is all about suppression of people's natural sense of justice. Because you see around you the way the place works. Albrechtson writes, you might get sloshed if you downed a shot of vodka every time there was a word match between Wilkinson's off-camera suggestions and Higgins' eventual on-camera answers. Sadly, Wilkinson's approach to this interview was of the kind we see all too much these days, what I would call hatchet job journalism, working out who you think is guilty or what narrative you want to push and then constructing the story backwards from there. And that's why on this show, we make our bias clear. We're seeking the facts and truths as best we can prevent them. But we do acknowledge that like everybody, we have a bias and our bias is towards classical liberalism and slightly conservative ideas. It's when journalists present themselves as virtuous campaigners of the good, neutral presenters of the truth, while telling only one side of a story, that things become very worrying. Deliberate misrepresentation, by what they leave out of the story.